Hello everyone, I'm Frankie D. Cruz, and today we are talking about the law of overcompensation and why it matters. Now, the law of overcompensation states that if your body is under stress, it will adapt. Simply put, that is at its basic level all that it is. But we can also say that in a different way, adaption is your body's natural response. All right. When you are under stress, your body wants to adapt because your body always wants to be in a similar level of normalcy. But it also has to be continuous, repeated stress. Okay, because if you just go ahead and do something that's really stressful once and then never do it again, your body will not adapt. Okay. So it is continuous, repeated stress that will make your body adapt. Now. Let's talk about why this matters. Stress is required for you to overcompensate, okay? If there is no stress, if you're not straining yourself in some way, your body's never gonna want to adapt, all right? So if you're lifting these teeny tiny weights and you can do like 40 reps or something, you're not, you're not adapting at that point. There is no point to it. You are never gonna make any sort of progress. And as such, not all workouts are created equal, okay? So, it really depends. What kind of adaptation do you want? Alright? And it matters in saying that if you go ahead and can do a billion reps, a billion sets of a given exercise, and you are not tied by anything, it was all a waste. Okay? And that's, I see that more times than I can care to admit, I think, with some of these generic workout programs. And we could also say that adaption correlates to intensity. Right, and by that, I don't mean oh, the more intense your ex your workouts are, the better your adaptation benefits are. It is to say that the way in which you adapt is correlated to the intensity of a workout. Which is to say, if you lift really heavy, your body will adapt for in order so that way you can lift heavy. If you work out to go ahead for endurance, then your body's going to go ahead and adapt to be more durable. All right. And this is true in all aspects of life, right? This is not just working out. This is a law of training, but that can be training of anything. All right, this, this is also true of, say, your comfort zone, okay? Where if you repeatedly go ahead and do something that's out of your comfort zone, suddenly it's no longer out of your comfort zone. It is your comfort zone. So let's go ahead and look at a few big takeaways. Uh, I want you. To, I want to ask you some questions. What are you doing to overcompensate? Okay, because if you are, because if you want to get somewhere, eventually you're gonna to have to go ahead and do something that is beyond what you think you can do right now. So what are you doing right now to oh, to make your body overcompensate? And what are the ways in which you want to overcompensate? All right, because you have to think. There are different ways your body can adapt. So what way do you want to adapt? And how can you do that? And then, what are you doing that's undermining your training in some form? Because yes, you can undermine it. All right, you could go ahead and be overtraining. All right, you can be undertraining. There's a ton of different factors. You might not even be doing the right type of training to overcompensate in the way in which you want to. Now, if you enjoyed this video. Uh, I have a free class for you that you might enjoy. All right, it's gonna show you a story that might be very familiar to some of you, but it's gonna have a twist because I'm gonna show you how it can have a happy ending. So click the link in the comment section in the description. Go ahead and like, follow, share, do all that good stuff, and I will see you next time.